everyone welcome again to aa home gardening guys june is a busy month in the garden summer is almost here i'm gonna be harvesting and i'll be planting so if you look here i have some nice turnip fatting up guys i'm gonna harvest these today and then i'm gonna plant us some more turnip as well so in this section these were planted in winter so if you look through, you can see turnips. So these were planted in winter, guys. And then now, they are getting nice. I have the snowball ones. And I also have the purple top ones. So you can see the purple top ones there. And they're all over this bed. But if you look, you can see some going to seed. So I'm going to take all this entire bed today. So I'm going to harvest. I'm going to eat. And then I'm going to plant same time. Then guys, you know I love June. I keep on going about June, guys. I'm born in June. I just got sting for my stinging nettle as well. Right here in the mix of everything. Then if you look at my broad bean, guys. Oh yes, I should be getting some for the 11th of June. The 11th of June is my birthday. So you can see lows, guys. You just look in between anywhere in these beans. You see the bean pods fatting up. Happy, happy days. The sun is out today. It's so shiny. Look at my bean pods, guys. And if you look at my... I'm going to show you the beans from a distance. The beans are over. They are getting up to six feet tall, guys. Yes, my, my broad beans are humongous. Let's discover some broad and nicer bean. Look at these guys. Look at these broad beans. Yes, they're almost ready. Look how fat those are. So yes, I just came around this side and I saw loads more fat, juicy broad bean. Guys, my broad bean patch looking so, so good. Look, there's loads more beans in there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful broad beans. Then here's my carrots that I planted with you guys a couple weeks well. So here's my carrots and they're looking nice. No white um, carrot flies or anything in sight. Nice, nice carrot that we planted out in a container. And guys, let's go in and see if we can see any carrot forming. Let's go in. Guys, can you see that? Let's see if you can see. There's like a carrot forming right there. So yes, guys, something happening with our carrots. The carrot is forming. So a few more weeks, we can pull our carrots together and show you exactly what's going on in there. Here's my sunflowers from seed. I've got a tiny one. I have three good size one. You can see the sunflower head about to form. And this one sunflower forming there guys nice sunflower forming there as well beautiful 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 and i have loads of african kale as well that i need to come and harvest look at the size leaves guys loads of african kale to come and harvest loads of things going on in the garden in june and my pink for potato is about to go to flowers as well if you look in the middle you can see flowers about to form so this is my pink for potato so i'm looking forward to the harvest of my pink for potato so what i'm going to do today i'm going to clear all of these i'm going to show you the end product of what i'm putting there so right here where the turnips are i'm going to harvest them i'm going to show you the harvest as well here i have some winter spinach and I have the leftover of the pak choy that I told it was going to go to seed very soon. And yes, you can see they're going to seed. So I have the pak choy there. So I'm going to clear up all of this bed right here. And I'm going to plant out some things. But my broad bean, I'm so, so happy with my broad bean, guys. My broad bean looking really, really good. So everywhere you look, there's broad bean really, really nice. Then I have my kohlrabis right here. Kohlrabi coming on, not looking bad at all. Weeds everywhere as usual. Then I have some nice lettuce coming on there. 
and this is my colored plant with loads of seed so that's one of some of the things happening in the garden in june then i'm going to take you inside the greenhouse show you what's happening and then i'm going to take you back outside when i'm digging up here to show you exactly what i'm going to plant there afterwards but guys there's so much beans in here if you love broad bean guys every year plan them too close but i like to plan them for support because there's always so many winter storm so i have them i have sticks in there for support and then i show you i have some garden wire holding them in guys and the bees love the blossom so it's very actually wow it's loaded guys and i can't even get in there to show you how loaded my broad bean patch is so yes i'm gonna take it inside the greenhouse and show you what's going on in there so june is for harvesting june is for so many things let me show you some of my onions while i'm here uh, you can see some of my onions guys yes fatting up and everything you can see some onions peeping up holding the head up so you can see lots of onion red onion white onion garlic over here this was the latest um onion bed you saw me did in in late late some late winter and they're coming up nicely and between them you have some sprouting broccoli and some spicy sprout in here as well and you can look at the amount of leaves and things on the onion they're quite healthy they're doing quite quite well so i'm going to take it in now and show you what's going on in my greenhouse by the polytunnel now so we are in the greenhouse we're in the greenhouse and look guys look at my cucumber i have cucumbers all in on there's another one over there and over here i have cucumbers and i have baby cucumbers holding on and everything looking so good guys so i'm gonna sell um and pollinate these they have the male blossom there I have the female there i'm just gonna take it off guys and then hold on so i'm just gonna peel it back like that so that's the male blossom and then I'm just going to go by the female over here. Hopefully you can see. Let's see, so the female is right here. Then I'm just going to pull back and self-pollinate it, guys. Just in case the bees don't come around. I always try to see if I can self-pollinate my female. Because I need all of my cucumbers for my juice. You know, I love my cucumber juice, guys. I love my cucumber juice. So I just play around with all the females. So nice size cucumber, guys. We're in June. Really, really nice size cucumbers. So I'm happy. So I just go around and play and self pollinate all the female with the male right here. There's a chance the bees would do it. But just in case there's no bees, I need my cucumber looking really good and it's just going up everywhere guys everywhere and then you can see my peppers my peppers guys branching out everywhere there's even a tiny pepper holding on my peppers guys you see it's branching out everywhere so see by topping the peppers it's producing so much more branches blooming everywhere looking really really good guys really really good my chayati this one was the one that i planted from december coming up nicely 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 so that's my chayati setting up shoots everywhere i cannot wait for it to bloom guys there's some more cabbage and things to plant out there's some more chayati machocha coming on really nice. My tomatoes are in bloom. And yes, guys, every single tomato is from seed. I don't know if you can see the little tiny tomato right there. 
so they have tiny tomato holding on and every single plant guys i didn't buy one tomato plant or one cucumber nothing in here was brought as a plug plant or anything these were all grown from seed yes guys we don't have to keep spending because i showed a video this year of the costs of things in the shop it's not worth it guys save your seeds then my papa is over there and look at my sugar cane guys oh yes my sugar cane is growing let me put my hand beside if you can see i need to dress back Stool. my sugar cane and just like one month old guys and then if you look over there there's another one i want shooting up another chai in the corner guys my sweet potatoes that is saw me plant out look how nice and healthy they look guys don't tell they're looking so good and then look at my bird pepper my bird eye pepper lots of pepper on yes lot of peppers lots of peppers looking so good then one of my jamaican sorrel the blossoms open they're closing back and i know the calluses are gonna get fatter and then we're able to harvest soon then i have another little one over here as well guys the sun is so bright that i'm shining the camera i don't know if you can see what i'm seeing I didn't put my glasses on, so yes, I have sorrel everywhere. You have pota um, tomatoes blooming everywhere. Guys, the garden coming on. It's really coming on nicely. Then you have your eggplant, your garden egg, and it's in bloom. There's tiny ones on it, guys. Tiny ones holding on. These, wow, the aphids love them. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I have to be fighting with these. I did plant loads more. But only three survived. But I'm happy. I still have some more amaranth over there. Some more kalaloo to plant out. These are my sweet pepper. Guys. Branching out everywhere. Pepper holding on. Blossoms everywhere. Really, really pretty. I have some okra growing here. Guys, I have so much food and it's just the beginning of june you can see my okra everything going on in here guys and there's just more bird eye peppers everywhere same cayenne pepper the bird eye pepper loads 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 going on so this is inside the greenhouse i'm sweating guys so warm today so we did go on and make a makeshift polytunnel so that's the i had bird net originally here to make a cage from the birds but in the end it got so long to get warm up so we decided to put some plastic over it and make a makeshift polytunnel so i want to show you what inside look like but before we go there remember the three peaches i grow from seed last year guys see all the leaves and everything coming back up on my peaches guys so yes we can grow our own peaches from seed. We have to, don't have to buy them so expensive in the shop. So now I'm going to take you inside here. Oh, so I have a nice sage I was sketching. I took it from the main plant to get another one. And it's coming on beautifully. Nice broad leaves. Guys, we got so much harvest from our strawberries already. The boys come in here every morning and harvest we raided it yesterday i should have done the video before we raided it yesterday there are so many ripe strawberries on here and they're sending out runners everywhere everywhere you look there's runners and you can see strawberries there we've been munching on these guys we have more than a a dozen more than actually about 18 so far strawberries everywhere everywhere there's strawberries and sending out runners everywhere strawberry everywhere guys and then oh so hot i remember the kalaloo the amarats that are planted out they're coming up now these are some jamaica red bottom scallion right there and you can see my kalaloo yes my kalaloo looking very good my amarat guys so the amarat i'm a soft boiled green banana and my pepper pot soup and all those things. Whew. Kalaloo everywhere. 
then just along here I planted out some more peppers and then my low cut came up then the weather changed then it got frostbite and now it's shooting back out new shoots everywhere if it's as well I need to come and spray it new shoots everywhere few grapes holding on not much this year few grapes there and then my only berry only held on to one if i can find him now there's only one little berry that held on can you see guys one little berry i hope you can see it i'm trying to see if i can show you the berry hold on can you see there it is one little berry held on the camera not doing it no justice where's my berry it's just one little one and i need to show you there it is one little it's so tiny that's the first year it's fruiting so next year i should have lows then even a small blueberry is coming out guys we're just going to do the tour of the back garden today otherwise this video is going to be too too long then my blueberry clusters mm, 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 mm. guys i cannot wait to dive into these i cannot wait there's clustered of blueberries did i see everywhere guys everywhere oh my blueberries looking good looking so so good look at all these clusters and they have some nice medium size going on there clusters everywhere everywhere you look this is just one shop i'm showing you just one then when you step over here there's another blueberry shop looking so good and look what i discovered this morning guys it's changing color oh yes it is i can see the inch of purple coming through guys there's blueberry clustered everywhere mm -mm -mm you know i love my my blueberry and then this year i'm gonna try and graph another plant so next year i can have even more can you see the clusters guys mm -hmm. can you see it everywhere you look and that's one of the reason we put up the structure as well because we're right on the hilltop and the wind is consistently windy and you know some here you have your lovely berries and if we're so near to harvest and then they lost the majority of it because of wind and then in my case birds as well will munch and then so that's another chop oh god that looks so good i can't wait to munch on these babies and then there's another one these are smaller in size it says mostly small and medium and i have a few large ones in between but mostly medium size and they're just clusters everywhere guys yes it is then this is one of my passion fruit i still have it in the container and it's going up and it's going up and it's going up and i'm hoping it will fruit for me this year then the red currant guys i had some episode with the red currant you can see the changing color now you can see i had to put a mesh over it so while we're creating this structure because there's still no door on it at the moment the little canaries and robins were coming in and munching on all the green ones because i didn't realize they eat the green ones as well so they came in and they ate three quarters of my berries because this um these were loaded this year loaded and they ate most of it so i had to come and put the mesh on to get some in the end and then this is the black currant here this one is not changing color yet so yes guys and i did some harvest of my kale so you can see it's all chopped everywhere i harvest these just a few days ago so they're not looking pretty but what i want to show you is my gungo yes guys i'm trying my jamaican gungo again because last year i got it to flower but it flowered late so i'm trying my gungo again the only difference is is under covering so when the weather does change it won't affect it too much and it should be able to continue 
and ripe up and everything then i put some more sorrel in here as well guys my roselle or rosella i have a few more inside here Ooh. then my banana got burned from the frost but there's loads of babies and everything i just need to come and cut off all those leaves then i put some more sweet potatoes i have even more sweet potatoes to plant out so i put some sweet potatoes in here then my Chilean guava, one of the avocado, I put it under the covering here. My gooseberry, the one at the front is laden. This one literally just have two on, hopefully you can see. There's one there and there's another one. Many thorns. Oh, there's another one right there, so this is very scarcely fruiting but the one at the front is laden so i will get loads anyhow so yes here is just a mess at the moment it's not finished building or finished planting out inside here either then you can see more sweet sweet peppers so that's what is happening inside here then i have a broadleaf thyme just i just repot loads more strawberries and lemongrass i have some dashing i just repot so yes guys and this is my mulberry shooting up everywhere and then this was another peach that i grew from seed that i just repot about three weeks ago and it's shooting up everywhere already so guys this is what is happening in the backyard so that's what happened in here guys so Hopefully, I give the tour of the front very soon. This is my golden raspberry. It's getting windy as well. This is my golden raspberry fruiting out everywhere. And this is a normal raspberry cane going on there. Guys, it's coming on. So this is my makeshift greenhouse that I'm just getting the plants planted inside here. And I have another set to head to the strawberry patch. But that's what's happening in my backyard at the moment. The amaret's just coming up. So that's what's happening, guys. So this is my backyard tour. So I'm, I'm going to show you now when I harvest all of these. And I'm going to show you what I'm planning, planting out. Okay? Here are now, guys. So I just pulled off some of the mesh that was there. And there's a crochet there as well. So I just started digging some of the dirt, clearing out some of it, some of the picture that I've gone to see. There they are. So yes, guys, I'm going to plant some more snow turnips here and some beetroot. And then so I'm going to plant it right here. Then I'm going to continue to clear with the rest of it. So let me show you. So I've done that bit so far. And I'm putting those in there and I'll show you what else I'm putting in there. So I need to come inside the green house to show you what else is going to go right there. So I've broken off some of the side shoots of the tomatoes already. But I need to break off some more guys. Because anyone that's low to the ground, I need to break it off. And that's the way I'm going to get new tomatoes. So like all of these, it's going to be a new tomato. So I'll go in break it off like that that's one tomato there and the quicker you break them off you don't have to use anything you just twist it back and forward that's two tomato plants i've done some of this already for the makeshift polytunnel so like this bottom one i should have taken off already it's gone all big so i'm just gonna leave it and this one over here i think i take that off so that's all I'm doing, guys, to get new tomatoes. I'll show you last year. You don't need to plant all the tomatoes you want. You just need to plant a few. Take off the side shoots. And there you have new tomato plants. So that's what I'm going to plant there, guys. New tomatoes from existing tomato plants. So even this one, I think I'm going to take off that one. So I can have lots of space. Because these tomatoes are plant close together as it is so the more you take off the side shoot and you shouldn't rip it off like i'm doing to damage the plant that one is a bit hard 
so I need to get the knife to take off that one and then just take off some more here backward forward that's what I'm doing guys so I continue to do that and then I'm gonna plant out my amaretz as well right in that location so I have those I have the tomatoes okay guys so I have all my side shoots here and this is where I get nice quick tomatoes just take off the excess like that and then they bury it as deep as possible and within days guys this will start growing on nicely for you this is how you get new tomato plants you don't have to keep going and buying guys just take off the side shoots from the one you have then basically I can't even find my spade at the moment I'm gonna use my machete you can go as deep as possible but I said I don't have the spade so I can't go any deeper than that and you just put it in and then you water it and that's all they're gonna do to get new tomato plants so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna plant out all these new plants right here so I have my callaloo I have my tomato and I have one more crochet that I'm gonna plant here as well and just put it in guys that's all you have to do to get new tomato plant so if you have a tomato just going on nicely I need some more you don't have to go to the store and buy any new tomato as I showed you last year and I'm showing you again you just plant your tomatoes from the side shoot so I'm gonna go ahead now I'm gonna plant up all of these and then I'm gonna show you the end product so that's the tomatoes side shoots are planted out guys and in the next video of the tour of the garden you're gonna see these beauties fruiting I got so much tomatoes doing this last year I've finished planting on the colorloo guys I have some in my makeshift polytunnel then I have some on the outside so I planted out my colorloo and guys I still have some left over so remember these colorloo was the tiny tiny ones that I left to grow on after I planted the first lot and now I'm gonna leave these to grow on as well so it's a bit overcast and i'm tired now so i'm gonna finish all of it so i did my color low i did my side shoot my suckers um of the tomatoes planting new tomato i planted other crochets and i planted out some beetroot here so all i'm gonna do now is to water it and i just harvest three of my turnip because i need to go in and eat these now and that's it guys so that's some of, some of the things i'm planting off for june so remember all your peas and your beans guys it's time to get them outside it's almost summer you can see it's quite overcast at the moment so i'm gonna finish up get something to eat and continue planting later so keep gardening guys let me know in the comment section what you're planting out presently in june and so we can learn from each other so thanks again for watching thanks for viewing until next time guys keep gardening take care now bye bye like share subscribe and click the notification bell